tragedy in central PA. Community members still mourning the loss of five victims of a deadly crash in Franklin County. Four of those victims, Donald, Kimberly, Miranda, and Dane Molander, all coming from the same family. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Joel D. Smith. PA State Police now providing some more details of what happened in that crash. They say the problem was a tire on the RV the Melanders were in, and it blew out, causing it to cross over into the northbound traffic, eventually hitting a tractor trailer head on. Skyview 21 giving you a feel of the crash site, where it was, what it looked like in Franklin County. In the green part, that's where the cable medians are, but that middle part is where the problem was. PennDOT says the RV slipped through that opening that's designed for emergency vehicles and then went to the other side, and that's where the head-on crash happened with the tractor trailer. They're going to see if their repairs are needed in that area as well. The Mullinder family leaving a legacy and a big hole in the hearts of so many in our community. Donald, Kimberly, Miranda, and Dane all making such a big impact, big and small. CBS 21's Maxine Rose heard what a few of those people are saying about the family now, and she joins us with more. Maxine. The community shocked and in disbelief over the tragic loss. The Molanders were friends, mentors, coaches, and leaders to many in and out of the ATV community. Ladies and gentlemen, Dane Molander, another high point champion. Whenever Dane come off the track, they'd all smile on his face yet. <laughs> and that was just him. He was happy go lucky kid. Dane Molander was just getting started this year kicking off his professional career in ATV racing. Heather Miller, the mother of Dane's best friend, Bryson Jones, saying it was a joy to watch him. Whatever he lined up, you know, it was just almost a given. Dane's up front, Dane's gonna win it. The two kids having met when Bryson was just starting out in ATV racing, inseparable since they were little. Now a best friend, gone in an instant. CBS 21 with Miller today calling Bryson on the phone, but all of this just too painful for him to put into words. He is just not feeling it. This weekend, Bryson heading to Tennessee to watch an ATV tournament, the same one his best friend would have also been at. Dane's number 488 being honored at the tournament. Meanwhile, Dane's sister Miranda making a similar impact on the community. As a Orange Theory coach and member, she helped others achieve their goals. She was just a sweetheart, though. I mean, anytime you've seen her, she was just, you know, saying hi to somebody, you know, taking pictures. But also, Miranda, having been a flag girl, was always there to support her brother, handing out trophies at nearly every single race. Mom, Kimberly, and Dad, Donald, fierce supporters of all of the family's endeavors always willing to offer a helping hand. And Bryson would just say, hey, Don, I need help. And he would just drop what he's doing and just uh, offer a hand to anybody. In a quote sent to CBS 21 News, a fellow ATV racer also saying today, they were huge assets to the ATV MX community and the Quad Cross New England ATV community. Kind-hearted people who helped everyone in need and made everyone smile and laugh they will be missed. To think now, we're never going to see him again. And in a statement tonight, the Middletown Area School District, where the Molander kids went to school, saying, quote, this is an unimaginable loss and our entire community is grieving. They're also offering support for any of those in the community affected by this tragedy. The community now paying their respects to 488, Dane's number, and keeping the family in their thoughts at the tournament in Tennessee this weekend. For CBS 21 News, I'm Maxine Rose.